Welcome everybody, today we're going to be adding more properties uh, to our Trek object. Uh, so if you want to take a pause here and go to the websites uh, that we talked about before, Club 540 and Loopcake Extractionary, I will leave links in the description. So maybe you can have an idea of what we want to grab and how we're going to implement it. Try it yourself, see what I do then. Uh, right, so go do that, uh, otherwise we're going to carry on. So. Uh, first thing that I want is just a description, right? So description. So yeah, just what what is this trick, right? Uh, next thing is going to be the difficult. Okay, so a trick can only be so difficult. So it's a one trick, one difficulty. There can be many difficulties, but a trick can only have one difficulty, right? So it's a many to one relationship but from the difficulty side so one difficulty can have many tricks so let's go ahead and uh, write this so public string difficulty all right uh that was a unexpectedly hard word to spell so let's go ahead and um, create a type called difficulty uh let's create a type right so there it is for the ID, I'm just going to use a base model string again. And uh, yeah, the ID is going to be string. So I'm just going to say if it's beginner or intermediate or hard trick, just put that as the ID. All right. And then again, we can reuse that as the slug. And uh, it's very convenient in URLs. And plus, we're not going to have like a thousand difficulties. There's only going to be like 10 maximum, right? So it's okay to have a string. Uh, let's go ahead and have a quick description of... Uh, the difficulty, right? What What is this difficulty? If we name it like God mode or something like that, you know, you, you want to know what it is. And uh, uh, next, of course, it's a one to many relationship. So we want to say that uh, we have an I list of trick, right? So a difficulty can have many tricks. I feel like we don't necessarily need this property here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it in a question, do we need this, right? And later we will go through all the to-dos. I'm gonna probably litter them a little bit. And if we don't need them, we're gonna remove them, okay? Uh, so next thing, we got the difficulty. How hard is this trick? Uh, so because we have difficulties, uh, you like an easy uh, trick would be like a kick and then a harder trick would be like a double spinning kick and then a tornado spinning kick and then like the flying bird kick and whatever. Those are not actual tricks, it's just a, a way to illustrate progression, right? So you have a simple kick, and then you have a hard trick, and then you have the master kick, right? Which would take down buildings, and then you have the god kick, which just explodes planets, right? So there's a progression. So what I'm alluding to is prerequisites, right? So uh, you learn the simple kick before you learn the hard trick. So this is uh, the progression. So we go from easy to medium to hard. We don't start on hard fail and then track backwards we start at the beginning we go forwards right so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and name uh, these uh, public class trick relationships uh, since tricks are going to be relating to each other there can be one prerequisites for many other tricks and one trick can have many other prerequisites right so it's going to be a many to many uh, uh, relationship between tricks right so tricks are relating to each other and uh, the primary relationship between them is that you have, let's start in the middle. We'll start with three, right? So we have a easy, medium, and hard. If we are in the medium trick, uh, the easy one is the prerequisite and the hard one is the progression, right? So we have a concept of a prerequisite and what are we going to progress into once we learn this trick, right? What's the next step? So let's go ahead and add a trick and we will call this prerequisite another trick and this is the progression uh, we can go ahead and um, give this an id progression as well id okay so uh, how do we map this on the trick so i mean pretty similar let's go ahead and have a list an i list actually of trick relationship and these are prerequisites, all right? And then we have progressions, all right? 
So everything that we need to learn this trick, everything that we can learn once we have learned this trick, right? And, uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so these are our trick relationships, right? We will have to, uh, what's it called? Configure app DB context a little bit, but we'll also take a look at the error. And the final thing that I want to add are categories, right? So you can have a category. Is it a flip? Is it a kick? Maybe it comes from breakdancing, gymnastics, Maybe it originated from parkour, capoeira, taekwondo. Is it a transition? So there are different categories of movements. There are also uh, stuff like variations when you combine different categories. So this is just a way to filter tricks, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and uh, say that, again, this is going to be a many-to-many -many because if, for example, we have a variation, many tricks can be in that one variation. But all the tricks that are in that one variation can also be in any other category, right? So a kick can also be a flip. So it's a kick and a flip. And that makes it a variation, okay? Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, make a public list. And these are going to be trick categories. Uh, category, rather. Let's go ahead and make the type. And make the properties category set. So trick categories, in the trick category, we should have a category on its own. Again, there isn't going to be like an overwhelming amount of these. It's going to be maybe around 50 pushing, maybe. I don't know how creative people will get with this. So I'm not expecting like thousands upon thousands uh, and tricks as well. There shouldn't be many of these. The main stress will come from maybe comments and discussions and maybe editing these and storing the history of edits or something like that if, if we want to get in there. But again, it's kind of all the possibilities that we can take, but we're not there yet. We're just kind of building it up, all right? So a trick category, what do we need? We need to point to the trick. So trick ID, let's go ahead, copy this. Let's say that it is indeed a trick. And then for this base model, Again, I'm going to use string and I'm going to do the same thing that we did with the difficulty here is having the the string as the ID, right? So the category like a kick will just have an ID of kick and that's just going to simplify everything else. Uh, so in terms of the relationship, uh, kind of the same as difficulty, although instead of trick, it's going to be pointing to the trick category, right? So uh, yeah, tricks. What kind of tricks are in this category? But the primary navigation will come from this and you will see this uh, once we actually get to using uh, these categories and implementing them, right? So category ID and uh, for the type itself, category, right? So this looks all right. This looks like pretty much it. Uh, let's go ahead and add these properties. I'm going to keep them in, the, in that file for now. Uh, let's... Uh, Let's add them at the bottom here. So let's add a couple. So what was first difficulty? Then we went to prerequisites. So it's going to be a trick relationship. And let's actually rename this as well. So difficulties. Yep. Uh, trick relationship. Oh, uh, trick relationships. Right. And uh, then we moved on to categories. So we had the category and we had uh, the trick category. Right. So that's the many to many relationship. So categories and trick categories. And the last one we didn't need. Okay. Uh, difficulties. Uh, uh, yep. Trick relationships, categories, and trick categories. So a simple way to test this, if this works, uh, I will basically save here and open up the terminal. So you can't see it here, but I had the terminal running. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, and by the way, the what I use is Control L to clear the console, right? Or you can right click and uh, pre uh, basically select clear buffer, buffer, and that will clear your console. And I think if you use the Windows terminal, so if you type like a couple of things, it's like a standard key bind, maybe. Yeah. So Control L just basically clears it instead of typing clear. So maybe a quick tip, right? Uh, uh so yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, quick. Uh, a quick test we can just go ahead and try to create a category and see what happens so refreshing the page basically gives us a maximum call stack size exceeded uh, I'm not sure what that's about but we do get a bunch of errors so let's go ahead and take a look right 
So first error is an unhandled exception has occurred while executing the request invalid operation exception enabled to determine the relationship represented by navigational property trick dot prerequisites, right? So it's not able to determine. So the, the relationship, I should finish the sentence, but essentially uh, this is a, one of those edge cases with entity framework where it just doesn't understand what you have written. So it doesn't know this prerequisite line up with prerequisite or the progression here, even though the names are kind of similar. Uh, hopefully you can see how it just doesn't know which one is which because this sort of prerequisite can go to a trick relationship and it can be here as a progression and then point is a prerequisite to here. And that was going to be just a prerequisite. So imagine if all prerequisite mapped to, to other prerequisites and tricks only had prerequisites and all the progressions were indeed still prerequisites, right? So that's just how it can fall over on itself. So let's go ahead and tell it what is what, right? So in here, let's go ahead and override members. Uh, we want the on model creating. Uh, this keybind is also available in Visual Studio. I, I can't remember what it is though. So here we want to grab a model builder and we want to configure an entity. Here we're going to pick trick relationship. And in here we're going to say that trick relationship has one, right? So, and here we specify a lambda of what does it have, right? So for example, a progression. Progression is somewhere the direction that we're going, going from medium to hard, right? So trick category is the bridge between the medium and hard. So progression, we're going to hard and then as or with many. So now we're in the hard uh, bit. So we're in the hard trick. Uh, what does the hard trick has many of? prerequisites, right? So now we're going to go back to the medium one and we're going to say that the bridge because we're in be we're in between the medium and the hard, right? This is the only place where this is really this gimmicky because usually you have something like a product order and then you have a product and order and it's apparent here it's a trick relating to a trick. So it's more of a contextual meaning rather than uh, the, uh, what you can read from the names, right? So this is why I'm agonizing this bit. But anyway, we're in the middle between medium and uh, hard. We say we're in the middle. We are going to go in the direction of progression. And we're here, right? So where did we come from? We came from the prerequisites, which there are many of, right? And then we just say that as foreign key of progression ID, right? So all progression IDs are prerequisites to the progression. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead, copy this. And we basically now have to flip it. So here we are going to go in a diff different direction. We're going to go back. We're going to go from um, what's called from the bridge in between medium and easy. And we're going to go in the easy direction, right? So we're going to go in the prerequisite direction. And this still stands true if the bridge was between hard and medium, we would just be going in the medium direction. Okay, so prerequisite, we're going towards easy. And then that easy trig has many progressions. And then yeah, because now we are back in the bridge, we want to say that it's going to be the prerequisite ID, right? So a prerequisite has many progressions. Okay. And a progression has many prerequisites. Okay. Uh, hopefully that's not too confusing. Uh, another thing, uh, actually, yeah, let's save this. Uh, let's give this a refresh and let's scroll all the way down. So I press end to go to the bottom of the console. Uh, let's see what the next error is. So uh, the entity type trick category requires a primary key to be defined. Okay. So again, uh, because for our normal properties, we inherit from the base model to specify the key by the convention. So we have an ID 
and that is basically entity framework knows that to select that property as the key for the database uh, here for trick relationships and trick category we don't have an id right so the name of the property needs to be id to be recognized as a primary key here we have two foreign keys right and what we can use from two foreign keys is a composite key okay so let's go ahead and do that so we will need to do this for both of these we'll grab the model builder we'll grab entity and we'll grab the uh, trick category here we will say has a key and here we can basically specify the formula right or the function uh, yeah and basically we're gonna select category id and x trick id okay and if we copy this and paste this here just to avoid this running into this error again it's going to be the same thing here so prerequisite id and progression id okay so the the key that will be created will be made up of these two properties for trick category it's category id and trick id for trick relationship it's uh, the trick ids which are uh, they they have their own contextual meaning okay um yeah difficulty i don't think that will need uh, a configuration so here we have uh, no what's it called uh, no errors let's go ahead give this a create let's press that trick name cork next save okay so this seems to be safe to the database and usually if you can do this so something simple as just being able to save to the database uh, that means first of all entity framework is able to create your database you might run into uh, you, you yeah usually it will warn you in advance if it cannot figure out the relationships between your tables or if there could be some unforeseen uh, consequences like cascading deletes so let's say you misconfigured a relationship so for example if we have a prerequisite to a progression relationship we delete a progression we don't want the prerequisite to disappear we want the bridge to disappear sure but we don't want a progression being deleted delete all the other tricks which are prerequisites and maybe further on the progression that because that might cause like a chain reaction that will delete everything right if uh, you have a configuration that might might cause something like that basically cascading delete which will cause way more records to delete than they should entity framework again will warn you right uh, but this will be it for this episode i'm gonna try to keep it short in the next episode we're gonna start decking out the form for our trick and seeing how to capture in the, uh, this information and how to edit and what, what kind of things do we want to go through right but nevertheless if you enjoyed it leave a like subscribe if you have any questions as always leave them in the comments section if you have any suggestion put them there as well i stream on wednesdays and sundays from six o'clock london time so if you're into that kind of thing join my discord server i do my announcements there hope you have a good day and see you in my other videos